the kids get here why don't you show us each of the rooms okay so let's start here then really quick because I don't leave them in too long okay dude, look how cute the door is looks like a front door and then you come in and they have fireplaces in the rooms the electric fireplaces and then the beds are all cute everything's done in the white French farmhouse which I'm obsessed <laughs> Love it. And then you come over here in these beautiful tiled steps into the next room <laughs> where you have this cute bar set with, look at the mugs. I mean, oh yeah, my gosh. everything is so cute. Look at the view outside too. It's such look a cute this. little town. Sit here and have your coffee in the morning. Look at the retro fridge. Yes, weekend. Oh my God. And then another fireplace and a huge bed, and then a magnificent bathroom. All right, so meet you and Claire are here. Yeah, and Ken. Oh, and Ken, yeah, there's plenty of room. Yeah, the toilet, look at this, all the same detail, the same tile, just carried throughout. Look at this. Oh my God. Do you see the vanity? Try not to get me in it, but oh, there we go. Oh yeah, let's see if we can film it and get a kiss.
you bring me? An old fashioned. Nice. Cheers. Because we are in a house from the 1880s. 1880s, drinking old fashioned. Happy hour. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're having dinner at the Pub and Steakhouse, and it's just walking distance from the Rigdon House Hotel. So we're having some beers, some good food, and then we're gonna go back and have some time at the fire pit, right? Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. The mustache, those crispy Brussels sprouts very good mmm how's your fried pickle hot you like it yeah can't go wrong with fried pickles being the bartender tonight what are you mixing up no I'm just taking uh, this nitro merlin mixed up. oh okay we're going to have a stout then so the fire pit closed early tonight it was supposed to be open till nine we all had our drinks ready to go we decided to take over the lobby because the fire pit's off and it's supposed to be on till nine. So maybe tomorrow we'll get some fire pit time, but for now, we'll just enjoy the uh, our own bar and our own drinks. Let's make our, this our own. Yeah. I made coffee up in the room but the kids wanted to come down and make some tea and some hot chocolate this morning and plus we just wanted an opportunity to use these awesome cups that they have we're super excited about the mugs I mean look at this it's adorable All right, video time. We're at the halfway point. How do you feel? So great. So far, so good. Dennis, you good? All right. 83, by the way. Wow. Yeah. You're in better shape than I am. Man. <laughs> We're here, and here's the ocean. Oh my gosh. Okay, we had a relaxing morning in the hotel and now we are having lunch at Lombardi's Pizza and Pasta. Daddy is still on his bike ride with his friends, but we are just going to have... This is you. This one won't stop screaming this morning. Look, she wants that ball. Say hi. Okay, I'm going to give her my phone, but say hi guys. All right, Daddy, Daddy is joining us. He got a medal. Participating in a Royka 2020. Let's see that medal. 2020. I know, it doesn't work. It's they bought these for the event in 2020. It was postponed to 2021 and then postponed to 2022. So, okay. Anyways, the medals are. <laughs> Why buy new medals? Technically, <laughs> this is a Royka 2020, I guess. So, we finished lunch over at Lombardi's and now we are just going antiquing. But I found something. This place is huge. But I found something really cool I'm going to show you. What? A real life slappy. Kevin, it changed positions. No way. <laughs> is, it, is it an actual puppet? Yes. Don't break him. It says he needs repair. $90. His name's Charlie. 1955? How no, cool is that? No, I don't care if he was in 1830. He's 1950. That's not worth $90. That's cool. Um, do you see the slappy dog? 
Go over there. You'll see him. Oh, mom. Yeah, my, well, it's it's nine dollars though. It's what? Tiny, but it's great. Look at Kent. It's 1955. His name is his real name is Charlie. Look here, Kent. You walk past him. He's right there. Oh, he is creepy. Dad, we have to get him. Do we need to get him? Yes, we do. No. He needs repaired. He needs repaired. So he was 120, but he's on sale for 90. He's he's so creepy looking. Look at all that wet stuff dripping down his mouth. Is he a real ventriloquist? Yeah, he's a 1955 one. It's in the back. His string. Hey, hey, Yoda! Oh yeah, there's a skeleton in here. There's some some interesting things oh, in this antique store. Yeah. I'm always amazed when I come into the antique stores how much. Okay. I'm always amazed when I come into antique stores how much stuff I already have from my parents and grandparents and all the hand-me-downs. I have a lot of this stuff every time I come into an antique store. I don't know if that, like I said, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I left the kids down at the antique shop and I was debating for a while to make this big steep trek up to the historic chapel and cemetery. But if you know me, you know I love a good historic chapel and cemetery. So I'm making the walk solo just to check it out. Come along. interesting because a lot of the graves here are these wooden tombstones here that aren't engraved so the ones that are show dates from the 1800s but yeah a lot of these wooden ones don't have any markings so, very cool got French Corner Bakery and Macarons. Oh, no, right. Ma macaroons. Macaroons. Sorry, oh. French people. Macaroons. They're the coconut. Right. That looks so good. I know. Yummy. Mm. How are those? Really good. Really good. So delicious. Okay, so they have, we're at the Cambria Historical Museum, and right now they have a little outdoor bee fair going on, so we're checking it out. There's beautiful flowers everywhere, bees, honey, and then we're gonna go check out the museum and see some live music in the back.
we learned some interesting facts that in the old homes they had the single plank pine wood houses with just the single wood plank keeping the outside from the end and they would hang the wallpaper up using muslin and tacks so these are the tack holes and then they would hang the wallpaper on that so when the wood expanded and contracted that it didn't affect the wallpaper very cool fact and we learned on our tour today that the ceilings were built high because the, these were kerosene oiled lamps and then they needed that height for the burning and those medallions would catch the soot. So those aren't just decorative, they actually had a purpose, which I never knew. And another cool thing, because the walls were single um, plank of pine, the windows you can see are built on the inside. So they just set them on top and the doorways, not inlet like we're used to seeing I've seen several of them later on. Yeah. That's so cool. Wow, that's awesome. So that predates that. <laughs> that cute, an old fashioned viewfinder. Uh, the flowers that they're using to do this are like native to Cambria, so when you bring home your paper, it's like bringing home. And then you come home and you can plant the paper, and it grows flowers that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. Wow. So cool. Let's make some. We got some real it's fresh like two pounds of honeycomb. honeycomb at the bee festival. It's like, yeah. was this was the most ago. packed one. This thing is like. So how do you so eat honeycomb? Yeah, I don't you know. Just you cut it in little chunks or and you, you bite it. it like okay. little candies. I remember but, biting. Or you said you can put it on yogurt or ice cream. Oh wow! We just stumbled upon the puppy, bee, and ladybug parade. I love the ladybugs' sparkly wings. <laughs>
love olives. Oh my god. This looks so good. And they're showing the nachos what? over there. All right, we made it back for cocktail hour. We're having the old fashions. Yeah, we're playing tic-tac-toe. These are amazing old fashions, and the fact that they're complimentary with your stay is even more amazing, because these are good. Drinking his hot cocoa. Okay. Tell me your favorite thing about today. I liked making paper and going to the antique store. Hey Claire, what was your favorite part of the day? Claire? <laughs> I got that on camera, Keely. Hey guys, come join me at the fire pit. Hi, we're finally getting to be by the fire pit. Oh, what are you drinking? Me? Yeah. Um, old fashioned. We got our. I did an old fashioned bike ride photo today. <laughs> and we're enjoying, oh, today. Oh, yes, we're enjoying the fire pit today. Oh, it's quite enjoyable. Yes, we're enjoying the fire pit. There's me and Claire. She's old fashioned. Hold on, Grandma. I'm gonna get you next. Me and Claire. Claire, say hi. Old fashioned kids. Hello. Is this the best complimentary happy hour you've ever had? The only complimentary happy hour I've ever had. <laughs> they have some top notch drinks going on. That's not a happy hour though. It's true. But it's What are we doing down here in the library? Um, you're being tick tack toe. <laughs> Can you show me the things that you built? Um, um, yes, look. I built it, um, uh, a baby cake, uh, some board, some board that sends with you, with an elf of you, and, and a brachiosaurus bowl with, with Jaco. Wow, and what are you drinking? Cocoa. Mmm. Let me see you take a drink of hot cocoa. Okay. Yeah. Look at how bubbly this. Uh, but it's not that hot. It's warm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. And we're playing tic tac toe. Yeah. And it got three in a row again. But you got three in a row too. So I guess we both um win. High I five. Yes, we both win because we got three row ear, you got three row ear, I got three row ear. <laughs> Do you like this hotel? Yes. We make our way to Paso Robles. We just had breakfast at the Redwood Cafe. Yes, the Redwood Cafe. <laughs> and now we're gonna go look at some antique shops, some thrift stores, and then see the elephant seals. 
before heading over to Paso Robles. So let's go. That's what they feel like, touch the skin. So the ones that are all silver gray, they've already gone through. So the ones that are the browns and yellows, they're like starting I hope you guys enjoyed our time in Cambria, getting to see some footage from the vintage bike ride Aroika and the awesome Rigdon Hotel. If you did, give this video a like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and never miss another minute of the fun. And of course, we offer detailed destination guides and travel tips over at our blog, hotmamatravel.com, to make your next family adventure hot.